Step number one for replotting your book is clean your freaking glasses so you can see. Hi everyone, my name is Haley and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a whole revamp plotting episode type thing. Today I have to do a major rehaul of my book, so I am doing a major replot thing, which sucks given that I have to delete like a huge section of my book, but I think it is important and I think that it will really help my novel grow and flourish and all of those fun things that happen when you have to revamp a novel. <laughs> so I thought I would do another vlog type video for this week because I don't know how long it's going to take uh, to really submit my new outline and all of that fun stuff. Sit back and enjoy the ride, I guess. <laughs> this process actually started yesterday, but I didn't do any recording. I started making character sheets for all my characters. If you are new to my channel, I am writing a book. Um, <laughs> I am writing a book. I is called, um, well, it was originally called Dancing in the Realm of Shadows, which I've now shortened, I think, to just A Dance of Shadows and or maybe just the realm of shadows i'm not entirely sure yet i think i'll wait to make like a full decision on that so yesterday i was able to get three out of the five character sheets done and basically for those i just downloaded the character templates that they have in scrivener and I just put them into a Google Doc instead of doing it in my Scrivener because I was getting a little, not upset with Scrivener because I love Scrivener, but I was getting a little bit overwhelming having my entire document from the first draft and then the first, because I did end up revising the first four, five chapters. I revised five chapters before I was like, you know this isn't really working and so I stopped and I was kind of at a plateau for a while because I didn't want to get any more writing done if I couldn't if I didn't know where it was going you know so I didn't want to invest all of this time and effort to revising this book if it wasn't going the way I wanted to so I was kind of at the standstill because I didn't know exactly which way I wanted to go and then last weekend a friend came over and had this big uh, brainstorming session with me which was like super helpful of her so that was really nice and it kind of like we eventually came to the conclusion that yeah the whole second half of the book doesn't really work one of the characters motivations wasn't strong enough well a couple of them were if i'm if i'm being honest and so i thought going back and doing first character sheets and then doing like some brainstorming for all of their individual plot lines and then finally trying to like put it all together. I might try to do plot embryos as well. Rachel Steven plot embryos because I really like that. I just took her to a workshop thing that she had going on for free and that was super helpful so I might try to start doing like the session long things that she talks about in that workshop. I'm looking forward to that. Not like looking forward to it it's like just a thing yeah let me know in the comments below if you took her free tool toolkit workshop if you enjoyed that or not or if you're doing her uh, magic academy i i decided not to which i kind of regret <laughs> now that i'm like here and trying to re-outline and redo all this stuff but i think it was mostly because like she wanted people to start with a brand new project so it wouldn't like inhibit the process of learning the plot embryo better and all this other stuff and I think at this point like I just really want to focus on this book. I don't want to start a new project. In theory I could have done that to plot the next book in this series but because I'm pretty sure now there's going to be another book. I also I also did not want to invest that time and money because it's a lot of money which is like great because you got to support artists and stuff and she put a lot of time and effort into it so I'm sure I'm sure it's worth the money but yeah I can't really plot another book if I don't really know the plot of the first book so here we are maybe in the future I'll do it and post about my progress or whatever so that would be pretty fun I think I would love to learn more about her plotting strategy because it seems really fascinating to me and I'm definitely trying to get more into plotting than I was originally. I used to not be a plotter <laughs> as much. I like had a very basic outline for this novel, the first half of the novel that I, of this, this novel because it's a, the novel I've been working on the longest. I didn't even make a outline 
which is so stupid and why I am going into so many problems. I also fell into the trap of not knowing exactly, not tropes, but which plot structure I was going to use, especially because I have so many characters. So like, I was initially writing it out as writing two characters at a time. So like, I wrote Dana and Leslie's point of view first, like alternating all the way through all the way through until like the meeting point because they all start out in different places and things th and things are happening simultaneously until a point and then that's when their paths are overlapping or whatever. So I wrote all of them individually before they started overlapping. Dana and Leslie's first, then Evelyn and Wills, and then Jacob's last. So it's definitely like one of those things where it's like, well, like, I don't... <laughs> What can you do? <laughs> so now I am stuck and I am going to replot to get it back on track and all that fun stuff. So I guess I will show you what I'm kind of working on right now. And oh, and so I had like an overhaul of things that I ordered yesterday. These I just picked up at Walgreens. I bought colored note cards for each of the different characters. So once I brainstorm all my ideas the I will try to like write them down on different colors to try to color code it and then from Amazon I bought all of this fun stuff oh I have a fortune cookie thing in it it says when I find it you will soon receive pleasant news of a personal nature very fancy oh so I got like a hole puncher and a bunch of clips so I can clip the scenes into chapters and then clip the whole thing together so hopefully that will be a little bit more organized and separate from my Scrivener. Okay, so that's basically it. I will show you what I have so far from my character sheets and kind of like how I am structuring that and then I'm just going to set to work trying to finish the last two character charts. Just because I've been working on this book for five years this coming July would be make it five years and I've never written down <laughs> this is so bad I've never written down like a character chart for any of my characters it's always just been in my head and that is just so stupid of me for not writing anything down like how did I think that was okay I don't know but it's fine <laughs> I guess I don't frick I am mad at myself and like I wrote out all the synopses too for my Scrivener as well and I downloaded that and that's how it was just like not making sense. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling now because I think I'm just procrastinating working at this point. It is 11.12 now. Damn it, it should have been 11.11. I was so close. If I didn't think of that one other thing, it would have been 11.11. That would have been a perfect time to start working. Rip. Glasses. Oh my god, my glasses are so dirty. I need to clean these. <laughs> you can watch me clean my glasses. Step number one for replotting your book is clean your freaking glasses so you can see what you're doing <laughs> oh my god ta-da also <laughs> this is my cloth for my glasses hashtag art art life okay <laughs> I'm gonna stop now toodles all right so this is kind of what's going on here so i'm gonna have a major players and i'm just focusing on the major major players today i think for plotting purposes i do want to make character charts for my two kind of antagonist characters that kind of drive the plot forward and everything so i have dana's done uh, Will's done and i came up with a new scene idea here so i was just putting that in the notes I still have to do Evelyn's and I still have to do Leslie's but I did come up with well I started it as you can see <laughs> and I did Jacob's as well I just have those two to do and then I will start brainstorming ideas for plot things I think the beginning should stay probably pretty similar but uh, Jacob's will spin off fairly sooner than what was original and then I'm giving Evelyn a huge plot lift so like a facelift but a plot lift <laughs> that I already kind of started with the revision but I think I'm gonna call this revision revision draft three just because I mean I did revise the first five chapters originally before this and now it's gonna be just major rewriting starting mostly from scratch with something staying the same. So I don't know, we'll see.
hello hello so it is almost noon so i thought i'd do a quick update to where i'm at because it's been about sorry 11 12 45 minutes ish since I started working. I actually started going into world building a little bit so I will show you the map I created because I had never created a map for this dystopian US world or whatever and I thought that would be helpful as I'm creating these character charts to then be able to say where they actually live and everything. But yeah I'll show you that and then I also I'm still working on Leslie's character chart but I feel like there's good progress. I finished Evelyn so I just have Leslie's character chart to finish and then I'll try to brainstorm some more world building things I think before I get to the whole plot thing because I think understanding people's backgrounds and the world that they're coming from will be really helpful as I'm creating the plot stuff and like I mean most of this stuff has been in my head for years. I just never put it to paper or to Google Docs or whatever. And I like Google Docs for this just because it's the only thing that I see and then I can just bring that up or I can copy it into Scrivener later if I want it all in my Scrivener again. But I think for this draft I really want to keep Scrivener just for the manuscript. So that's just how, how it's gonna meet, y'all, you know? Okay, let me show you this map thing. Alrighty, so this is my world building notes. Basically what I have here is a map of the United States get bigger that I then drew off with different colors. So initially I just knew that there was the east versus the west. I knew that it was separated maybe by the Mississippi River, maybe not, and then I pulled up the map and I was like, you know, let's just go by states to make it easier because the Mississippi runs through states and along different states and all that fun stuff. So and then this feels like more east, eastery, eastery, easty, I guess. And then this is more west. And so the premise is that there is this big war between three countries, maybe superpowers. I need to flesh that out. That's what I'm going to do down here is I'm going to flesh that out. So that can come up at some point, maybe. But this is basically the boundary of this. Like this is like super uninhabitable radiation and or flooding, drifting away. There's basically just like nothing here. So the affected population, the people with superpowers, are up here in Wisconsin uh, just because they need to be able to be close enough that they could go into province 3 here and steal supplies, get money, that type of thing. But when the robbery takes place they're going actually all the way up here into province 2 by the capital because they think that'll get more traction or whatever. So and then I have to also flesh out how this capital thing works because I think in the War of 3 DC will probably have been destroyed. So I think there's going to be an East Capital and a West Capital, or a North, probably North and South Capital because East and West. <laughs> I don't want the same thing there. And then that will flesh that stuff up because that's where Jacob will be is in one of the places of the capital. So I have it all like kind of spaced out here. So yup yup. And then the facility where they're keeping kids are going to be in province four then instead of Florida. So I'll have to figure out like those individual places or how to pinpoint exactly where it is so people know where it is without like state dropping or whatever because I kind of I'm still debating if I want to keep state names or not because right now I have state names and I just made up cities within the states but I think because it's like reorganized maybe it should be maybe everything should be called something different like after the war of three but I still have to decide that there's some more brainstorming things I have to do Yep, and so I'm still on Leslie, but I'm going to take my break now and then I'm going to come back and finish up Leslie and then start doing my things. I should probably make my charts for my antagonist as well while I'm working on it, but I feel like I should at least try to plot out some of the major players' plot lines before... Well, I guess it goes hand in hand. You can't really plot without knowing what the antagonists are up to, so... I should probably do that first, even though I'm kind of over character charts at this point. But you know, gotta keep going, gotta keep chugging. I also need to plug plug in my my laptop here. I'm at 24%. I have to move my charger over so I can use my desk. Alrighty, I will see you guys soon. I got a little egg sandwich. I got my coffee. It is time to eat and plan.
Hello, long time no see. So basically, I haven't gotten much done <laughs> since I last checked in. I finished lunch and then I realized I had some things to do around the house. So I finished up my laundry that I had started and I picked up sticks in the yard and then I was just chatting with my stepmom for a while. So I haven't really gotten much done since, but when I was outside, I well, just kept thinking about my book and everything. So I was staying on task basically but now we're gonna take a trip out maybe go to the lake and just see it and i'll absorb some more nature and see if i can't come up with any more ideas for plotting character charts all that stuff then when i come back i'm gonna try to finish leslie's character sheet get at least one character's plot line character arc thing completed so we'll see how it goes so i'll have tomorrow as well to work on this so good things all right i will catch you all later bye So I am back. It is about 7.30. I just got back from my uh, spontaneous trip that I took with my parents uh, to the lake. I am so tired. I had this like super cheap strawberry, hard, hard strawberry soda thing. Oh god, it was so strong. 7.33 actually, if we want to be pedantic. And I do want to finish up Leslie's chart and maybe try to get at least a few more plot points or plot ideas written down. I don't know if I'll do too much more than that tonight just because I am kind of tired and kind of want to read. It's just been like super hot today and then it was super cold by the lake. So my body's just like, what? Because <laughs> it got up to like uh, 97 was the high today. And then by the lake it was like 60s and then it got up to 75, 85 again. But yeah, so. It was a fun trip though, as you can see from the montage that I just put in there for you. I will get to work in here. I think tomorrow I will try to get a lot more of the actual plotting stuff done. This is because it's my last full off day before going back to work. And then I only work until Wednesday because that's our last day of school at the middle school that I work at. So then I will be free. Well, almost free because then I'll be going down to Milwaukee to help my mom move into a house and doing other fun things. But I'll do my best to keep content coming out during that time and everything. So this is going to be a busy month, that's for sure, but I am excited to keep chugging along and my goal is to get this all officially plotted out, like done done plotted before I go to Milwaukee. So exciting stuff. Good night! Mm -hmm. 